Well, you know, folks, I was thinking of naming the, uh, naming this post, uh, Muslims are hilarious. Now, there's this individual who keeps posting and attacking Christianity, uh, and uh, I've tried to have a dialogue with her, and she's, I would think, uh, maybe she's, po uh, she's responded to me once or twice and not really answering the questions, but uh, she posted something this morning, and I, I, like I was thinking of naming this Muslims are hilarious, uh, but but I don't know what to name this uh, name this video. Uh, but anyways, um, and she makes a claim that uh, Zamzam water Hagar and her child Ishmael, and then she quotes from Genesis where they were uh, where uh, Hagar and Ishmael are cast out by. Uh, by Abraham and he gives him some bread and a skin full of water and uh, this was in Beersheba and of course uh, the Zamzam well is in Mecca so let's look at the map here and here we go uh, the distance from basically Beersheba to Mecca is uh, 1400 kilometers and let's say uh, well, I'm quite sure Hagar and Ishmael were, did not have a car, and I'm quite sure that uh, their journey would have had to have been on uh, on foot. Well, you know, that's you know just given you know when we look at basically uh, you know the time uh, with that. So they they would have traveled on foot. And again, the distance between Beersheba and Mecca is 1,400 kilometers. So let's do a little bit of math here. Let's say they could walk, you know, 40 kilometers a day. I don't. Th I think it would be closer to maybe 20 or 25. But we'll give. We will say that they're in great shape and they are able to walk 40 kilometers a day. That's 35 days. And let's say that they, uh, well, I think that to survive uh, with constant exercise, you would need to leave, uh, each individual would need at least to drink two liters of water. So if it's going to take her 35 days to walk to Mecca, uh, that's 70, liter, 70 liters of water for her. And 70 liters of water for him. That's a hundred. That's 140 liters of water. Uh, so I mean, really, when you examine the story, <laughs> it becomes like say hilarious. It's absolutely ridiculous, and it's quite interesting. I looked in the Quran to see if I could find Hagar's name, and there's uh, she's not mentioned. Uh, in uh, the Quran once that I can see of. Maybe um, one of my Muslim friends can point out where she uh, she's mentioned possibly giving her a different name. But what this shows is that uh, Islam is always appealing to the, uh, uh, the Torah for its validity, but when we examine the Torah closely and compare it with the Quran, then we find that uh, that Islam cannot possibly be true. So again, thanks for watching. You all have a great day. And remember, Jesus Christ is Lord, and that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Uh, if, you, if you have any questions uh, regarding this uh, post, you can, uh, PM me, or if you're watching on Facebook, you can contact me as well. And if you're watching by Facebook, it would be fantastic if you would uh, sub hit the like and also hit the subscribe. Anyways, again, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and may God bless.